The Quest 3 has officially been revealed by Meta as we had Meta Connect last week. And now that I'm back here from vacation, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite features that I'm really looking forward to on the Quest platform. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, I do have a Quest 2. I've done a lot of content on it. And I also have a Quest Pro. So I'm coming from a Quest Pro with this and a Quest 2. And I'm excited for a bunch of different features that the Quest 3 is going to do even better than the Quest Pro uh, at a much lower price. And obviously, as we all know, the Quest 3 is releasing on October 10th, starting at $499 for the 128 gigabyte or $649 for the Oculus Quest 512 gigabyte. So we have a lot to digest here on some of my favorite features that they're touting, and I can't wait to talk about them with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech. So one of the first things that they showed off in MetaConnect that I was super excited about that's being obviously... All the talk about this headset is the mixed reality pass-through. So, of course, this coming over from the Quest 2, this is going to be full-color pass-through. We're going to be able to play games like this, and it's going to be able to be anchored thanks to the depth sensor that is now included that wasn't on the Quest Pro. And now when you play a board game, say, on your table or a digital game like this like that's coming out, you're going to be able to actually see it in front of the table and other players who play locally with you, if they have their own headset, it's going to be anchored to the exact position. So if you have a table, that's exactly where it's going to stay and where it's going to be. And it's going to bring, obviously, the fact that the resolution is much higher, the quality of the pass-through is much, much better than anything that was on the Quest 2 and even better than what was on the Quest Pro as well. Uh, the, the Quest Pro, even though it was better than the Quest 2, this is going to be substantially better even than the Quest Pro was as far as the resolution and how clear it was. And just look at the games that are being tattered and all the games that are getting mixed reality updates. Being in the Stranger Things world, you know, I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things having like a, like something appearing on your wall where you're seeing the upside down on the other side and, and monsters are coming out of the wall. It's really going to add to, you know, some immersion of games. And yes, I still love my fully immersed VR games and I don't want those to go away, but mixed reality definitely adds to you know, a supplement of that and, and be able to add new experiences that would be better in mixed reality if mixed reality was actually good, if the pass-through was good. Um, you know, things like, you know, with the depth sensor now, you can map the whole entire play space. You don't have to, like, map it every time you get into the headset. It will just know the objects around you, and it will be able to put things behind objects. Like, if you have a couch, a monster that's coming out of the wall can hide behind your couch thanks to that depth sensor and stuff like that. So there's some really cool stuff that I'm excited to see and can't wait to get my hands on for mixed reality. You know, board games, obviously, as a board game fan, comes to my mind immediately. Uh, but then there's also things that they showed. Uh, like like watching TV where you can actually anchor it to a position. So if you have, don't have a TV in your living room, you can anchor it right there and you can watch your sports. You have all the different stats going all over the place just like this. And you can walk around your room, but it's anchored to that position on the wall that you actually have it in, which is fantastic. And being able to watch sports while you still feel like you're in your room and being able to talk to other people, but, you know, see this. And then, of course, they have the Xbox Live Game Pass app that's officially coming that they've been talking about since last year where you're going to be able to play all your uh, 100 of over 100 Game Pass games right here on a virtual screen, right in pass-through mode or in a virtual area, which is fantastic, and I can't wait to try that as well. Uh, you know, I'm a Game Pass subscriber. I love, you know, Game Pass, and there's a lot of good stuff on there as well. So I can't wait to, you know, experience that in mixed reality and see how good that quality can be. But what really, really got me excited about mixed reality is something that I've wanted in AR glasses and all that stuff for such a long time, which is being able to place objects around your house. And that's exactly what I want AR to be. Where you can take like like this example, they're showing reels, where you can kind of place it somewhere in your room. Let's say you put your headset on and you're in your living room, but on the wall you have digital photo frames or digital videos that are playing, a digital TV screen, a plant that's not really there but is there when you put your headset on. All of these different things that you can kind of decorate your virtual home, but you actually see it in pass through and you believe that it's there in your home, but it's not really there. And it's always there when you take your headset off and you power it back on. Boom. All those objects that you put where they're supposed to be are exactly where they were before. That is super exciting. That's coming in 2023 uh, with that update as far as that last part of being able to add those objects and put them all around your room. But I can't wait because that's exactly what I wanted from AR. And then, of course, there's the fact that, you know, games are going to look so much better with these pancake lenses that are being up on there. The 2.2 resolution per eye, that's an increase from the Quest 2 and even over the Quest uh, Pro. And obviously the Snapdragon XR2 uh, 
uh, Gen 2 chip, which is obviously much more powerful than what's on the Pro and, and over two times as powerful than the Quest 2 was. And it's going to allow games to look that much better. I mean, they've already showed some of that already with comparisons coming out there of things like Red Matter and all that kind of stuff of, of what they look like in The Walking Dead on how much visual fidelity you can actually put on there compared to what was on there before, which is obviously super, super exciting. And I do want to give a quick shout out to Horizon Home as well, because or Horizon Worlds, I should say, because they've added some really good stuff lately. I mean, obviously, you can see Super Rumble here is a fantastic game where you can finally import models that make the games look a lot closer to Quest games as opposed to, you know, what they look like before, which is a great sign. Games like Citadel that they've just released was their second one in that same vein and also really good but horizon worlds watching the meta connect if you guys didn't get a chance and you have a quest 2 already on watching the connect in horizon worlds i would definitely recommend doing it because they added they recorded it in 3d and it really shows what 3d can do when it's actually done correctly with the 3d perception on the vr headset it was recorded and it has really good quality the environment that they did i think is super cool in, in horizon worlds and it really showcases what you can do when you put your thoughts and details into these events uh and when worlds are created specifically for these events that makes it cool to engage with other people join up and talk to your friends and stuff being this virtual environment and kind of gives you an idea of what the future can look like for movie events imagine going to a movie and you know for that movie you're in a gigantic world of like the latest marvel movie and there's a bunch of different objects to play with they have the the the, the movie being played in 3d it's just fantastic and it's still up there now so you can watch them and connect even after it's already passed so Go ahead and jump into Horizon Worlds and check it out because I think it was actually super cool and really well done. And my favorite event that they've had in, in creation in Horizon Worlds so far. I'm definitely going to have to say, though, even though I'm really excited about the, you know, the much more powerful graphics and the updated lenses and stuff like that. What I'm really excited for is just the how much stuff is going to be enabled by this pass through and how much better it is than the Quest 2 and even better than the Quest Pro. Uh, you know, being able to, you know, do this AR mode where you're going to have objects all over your house that you can customize that may be on your table, uh, decorations like a snow globe and stuff, all this different stuff and putting screen virtual screens on your, if you don't have a TV in that room, uh, little trophies for different games that you may earn. So you have like a trophy everywhere for all the games that you played. All of it sounds amazing, and I can't wait for that stuff to roll out. But even the mixed reality games are super, super exciting uh, that they're enabling with the powerful you know, nature of mixed reality. And I can't wait to see what developers do with it. There's already, you know, there's already a ton of stuff being out there that's exciting as is, and uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for that stuff. And obviously, we can't forget about the games. I mean, they they announced at Meta Connect that there is over 50 games that are going to be brand new that are coming between now and December of this year. Over 50 new games for the Quest platform between now and then, which is insane. And then on top of that, over 50 other games are going to have some mixed reality experience or be updated for the quest 3 platform so there's going to be a ton of stuff to get excited about over the next couple of months here when this quest 3 releases and there's just going to be a lot of games a lot of mixed reality stuff for all of us to play with a lot of games are releasing their own mixed reality modes as a side thing and you know i'm here for it i can't wait to cover it for all you guys on this channel show you guys all the new games and it's an exciting time to be a vr gamer and as somebody who owns multiple headsets, this mixed reality is going to let us play local things with multiple headsets around the table, like board games and that game there that you saw there, which is releasing at the same time that the Quest 3 platform comes out, which is going to be awesome, where you're basically playing, uh, you know, capture the flag and capture the crown and stuff like that on top of your head to kind of showcase what, you know, what this platform can do when developers take their time to do it well. And there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff coming. But we all know what people want is better graphics. They want the, the, the Quest system to be closer to PC VR. And as you can tell in this video feed here, just look at how much better these games look like on the Quest 3. On the Quest 3. They're, they're so much more detailed. There's a lot more lighting effects, a lot more things going on. And this is early days. We all know that they, that they have only had their hands on the Quest 3 for a little while. Imagine how much better things are going to get along as Quest 3 keeps getting more updates and more things going on. So it's great that the Quest 2 can still play these games at lower resolution and, and you know, without all of these effects. And then on the Quest 3, we get a more PC VR-like experience uh, with these games. And from the early impressions people are saying who have played Assassin's Creed, who have played some of these games, it looks like a low-end PC VR. And that's an outstanding thing for the fact that this is an all-in-one headset that we're at the point where we're basically almost getting low-end PC VR graphics on a standalone headset like this, which is super exciting.
I think I've rambled on long enough here for all my thoughts on the Quest 3, and I'm super, super excited for all of it. Obviously, I have my pre-order in there. I got the 512 gigabyte on order. I got a bunch of the accessories as well, so I can review for you guys, like the Elite Strap with battery. I got the new foam cover. I got the, the dock and everything, because obviously, I want to review this all for you guys and see if it's worth your time and money. So there's a lot of good content coming your way uh, as far as the unboxings, reviews, gameplay, mixed reality, all this kinds of stuff that we're talking about in this video. So I'm excited to dive in that with you guys. And if you guys have any questions before then, of course, feel free to leave those down below. If you guys are thinking about pre-ordering and you have a Quest 2 and all that kind of stuff and you have some questions, feel free to let me know down below. Other than that, guys, like I said, I'm excited about a lot of this stuff. Pancake lenses, 2.2 resolution, uh, much better pick, uh, mixed reality gameplay, FOV being 110 degrees, which is, close, which is a little bit higher than the Quest Pro or right around that area, which was better than the Quest 2 was. Uh, you know, being more comfortable, being 40% slimmer, all the different stuff that they've been talking about. All of it sounds exciting. But for me, mixed reality is sitting at the top of my list right now to see how much that can change the games. And of course, having over two times more powerful graphics chip inside means that the baseline for quest games is changing which means we're going to get a lot more graphic fidelity in these games and a lot more that these developers can do to bring games on the quest platform so other than that guys thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always leave those questions down below if not thank you for watching till next time